Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Rathinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about debugging in UFT. It is one of the most important topic for interview purpose also. An interviewer can easily judge whether you have really worked in automation project or not just by asking few tricky questions from this area. Because many of them will add an interview with a theory knowledge and some folks will never get an opportunity to code in their project. They will just execute the scripts from ALM. So as an automation tester, we must know all the features available in UFT for debugging. Agenda for today's session is what is debugging, how to debug using breakpoints and what are all the three main features available for debugging. First, we will look into this topics theoretically. Once we complete this, we will show you practically how to debug with an example. First, what is debugging? It is a feature to debug the code step by step to check whether the script runs smoothly without any syntax or logical error. In case if there are problems, we have to debug and fix the issue. So that is the main motive of debugging. Let us consider a scenario where we have a piece of code having many lines. Our first aim is to stop at a particular step or a point. So we use breakpoint to stop our execution at the required step as per our wish. Now our requirement is to debug line by line or step by step. So using F11 key we can debug step by step. Now in the current line it calls an another reusable action or a function. If I don't want to get into that function or an action I just press F10 key so that the entire action or a function will be executed without entering into it. For example, you may think what will happen if I press F11 at a reusable action or a function. If you press F11, the execution will get into the action or a function. Now, let's consider that function contains a looping statement for 100 iteration. We have debugged and found the solution at fifth iteration itself. Now we have to come out of the function rather than executing the loop till 100 iteration. Then use the step out just by pressing the shift F11. If you press this key, the execution will come out of the function. So let me summarize once. Breakpoint is to stop at a particular point of code. Step into is to execute step by step and step over is to execute entire action or function and step out is to come out of the function. Let us look into this with a practical example. Now we are going to debug this piece of code which is used to select date as per our requirement initially 1 6 2016 June 1 16 is the time default time it has been selected now we are going to run it and select as per our requirement. Once we complete the debugging session, we'll teach you how to create the functions. Click on run. So it should select 16th July, June. Now it will click on the next arrow button and uh, the execution is completed. And I have included the message box for debug purpose. So just go to the application as per our requirement, the particular date is selected. Now we are going to debug with breakpoints. To add the breakpoint, select or click on the particular row. Third row, fourth, sixth, eighth. If we execute now, the execution will be passed in this particular breakpoint. First, we are going to learn F11, that is step into. I am running it. As per the breakpoint, our execution is passed at the line 3. Press F11. So now we are executing step by step. As we discussed earlier, if any reusable function 
or an action comes into the current step at that time if we press F11 it will get into the particular function so I'm pressing F11 it will go into the function I'm just executing one by one so this is how we use F11 functionality that is step into if you want to know the exact flow one by one the best option is use the step into F11 so the first step is it's clicked on the departure date then what it exactly does is I will show in the application it clicked on this particular link the particular window came so then the next step it's clicked on this arrow button now the July window is available then it is clicking on the date and finally it is clicking on the time if you want we can see so as per our input 17 and 20 date and time selected respectively then finally it should click on ok button see as per our required input the value is selected and F11 it will come out of the loop and finally it is passed if you want to understand a flow in a very detailed manner the best way is to use F11 step into using this key we can understand an end-to-end -end execution scenario now step over that is F10 so I am selecting date 19 July 2017 16 just run it so using F11 it will execute one by one and now F10 that is step over which is used to execute the entire function or an action in a single run so if I press the F10 the whole function will be executed so I'm just pressing F10 in my keyboard the whole function is executed 19 date and 16 time is selected but it didn't stop inside the function the whole function is executed the execution is completed hope you understood the difference between step into versus step over this third scenario is step out just run it so using F11 you went inside this function it came into the function in the same scenario we have the looping statement do until loop here it will just check one or two times but practical scenario you will have more than 50 or 100 iteration at that time you want to come out of the function means you will use the shift F11 if I press shift F11 it will come out of the loop I am going to press shift F11 so it executed the function and came out of the particular function and the date also selected 19 date 16 as a time and finally message box also executed hope you got idea about uh, debugging step into step over step out then if I don't want any breakpoint just click on the same row you can remove the breakpoint sometimes you will debug between multiple functions at that time go to the breakpoints pane here it will show you what where and all you kept the breakpoint you can remove the current breakpoint or disable it enable it or remove and it is always a good practice is once we complete our debug you have to remove all the breakpoints this debugging is a very very important topic try to create a scenario and debug it then you will get more clarity on this features that's the end of today's session in case of any clarification you can post your queries or you can mail me thanks for watching